Hi folks, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon on the 13th of May 2016 and this is my take on Mercury Retrograde through the 7th house which is applicable if you're one of those people born with either Scorpio or Libra rising at this time. The um, 7th house is the house of relationships and it's the area of a chart that's most commonly associated with one-to-one -one relationships, whether personal and intimate, family, friend, professional or social. So with Mercury going retrograde in this area at this time, May 2016, if you're one of these people with Scorpio or Libra rising, then interactions of all types with individuals are definitely going to take some type of different hue. Um, you may find that previously held opinions or ideas around others in your life are no longer correct. Uh, so the next three to four weeks brings a new potential for retrospection, for reassessment and re-evaluation, reconsideration of existing relationships. But it's probably a good idea to suspend new permanent decisions regarding individuals in your life until after the retrograde process has passed. And certainly it's not a time to just assume how others will behave or act. This is a time where personal boundaries with others may be renegotiated and hopefully interactions would have a greater balance of equality about them. But because Mercury's retrograde, I'm not holding my breath on this. As Mercury gets into the retrograde phrase, there will inevitably be cause for renegotiation of some of your uh, relationship boundaries with others. The unspoken arrangements and agreements that make relationships work at the subtle interface level may suddenly become a problem. Uh, the underlying rules of relationships may need to be revisited and brushed up on. Who does what in the home, for example? Who empties the garbage? Who feeds the pet? Who does the washing? If you take anyone for granted, or anyone takes you for granted during this transit, then arguments or disagreements will ensue and new pathways will be forged one way or the other. You may find that old situations or patterns from the past may surface or resurface through your one-to-one -one interactions. And um, in ways that give you pause for thought, as in, do I still want to be like this? Or am I prepared to still continue putting up with this? Any differences of opinion that are being still being repressed during this transit and not being dealt with um, may well become permanent wedges and as a result uh, may lead to breakdowns as opposed to breakthroughs. Any new relationship or friendship that develops at this time may prove to be brief and should not be fully embraced until well after this transit is over. At the same time, problems in existing relationships should not be the reason for final decisions as more information will surface and before the end of the Mercury retrograde that may cause you to change your mind again. Others around you may make decisions or take actions that will give you cause to reconsider the level of interaction that you wish to have with them. And as this transit draws to an end, so you will feel much clearer one way or another about who is still of substance and meaning in your life. You will certainly gain insight into what makes the people close to you tick and vice versa. There are a few basic rules with Mercury retrograde in the seventh house, however. It's really not a good time to get married or confirm any other type of commitment to any type of partnership, whether personal or business. Best ways into this one until Mercury is moving forward again. And as Mercury stations and stands still and starts to move forward again, so a greater clarity will emerge in regard to your interactions with those around you. There will be a realisation that there is no one to blame and that misunderstandings and miscommunications do happen from time to time. By trusting the process of time and listening to your gut instinct as much as, if not more than, the rational and logical mind, you can make decisions now based on how you feel as much as how much, uh, and what you think. And as a result, those relationships that are still good and are still in place will start to, once again, thrive and prosper. Remember that other people have their own opinions that are as valid to them as yours are to you and that neither is better or worse than the other. A commonality born of teamwork is the desired outcome here where nobody wins or loses 
but everybody emerges from this Mercury retrograde with an element of contentment and a desire for a common goal. Be open to others' viewpoints whilst at the same time remaining resolute about your own. Yet at the same time, do keep doors open so that both you and others can change your mind. Synergy is always better than working alone. There you go, folks. Mercury retrograde in the seventh house. More tomorrow. Bye now.